Okay, hello again, everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. We learned the first type of factoring called the greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor comes before anything. I'll make this a little bigger for you, okay? All right, so let me say that again. Whenever you do any type of factoring, you must try to do this one first, okay? And sometimes I'm going to forget, and then I'll catch myself, okay? But I don't want you... Okay, so always check this first. Today we're going to learn the difference of two squares. So put number two and put difference of two squares. Okay, now you know the difference of two squares because it looks something like this. It'll be something like x minus 25. And it actually x squared minus 25. In other words, you only have two terms. Two terms. So this is one term separated by, see, so you have two terms here. This one, this is term number two. Hence, and it's got a minus, so it's called difference. A minus is different. So difference are here, so watch carefully. So here's how you do it. You put parentheses just like this, and you say what times what equals x squared. Well, it's x. x times x is x squared. What times what is 25? 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So both of these are perfect squares. Hence, the of two squares. So your answer is going to be a plus and a minus, and it's going to be the x, only what's inside the parentheses, x plus 5 and x minus 5. And that's it. That's your answer. And that's how you factor the difference of two squares. Watch again. These are easy to make up. Let's say example 2. Let's say you have x squared minus 100. Well, this one's a perfect square, x times x, and this one is a perfect square, 10 times 10. Some kids do like 20 or something goofy like that, so be careful, okay? It's 10 times 10 is 100. So, your answer when you factor it in Algebra 2 class next year is x plus 10 and x minus 10. Okay? And then sometimes they give you one like this, number 3. They give you like x squared minus 1. And you say, okay, well, it looks like two terms. It looks like the difference of two squares. So you ask yourself, what times what is going to give you 4? Well, that's going to be 2x, x times x. And then what times what is 1? Well, that's 1 squared. 1 is a perfect square. So your answer is going to be 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. I'd like the plus first. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so when you check your answers, I don't care how it is. You could put this one up front and this one in the back, but I'd like the plus first. All right, now, understand this is my answer, okay? Now, sometimes they get a little more complicated like this. Let's say, let me see if I can think of one up. All right, so let's say 3x squared minus 12. Put example 4 and put a star by this one. Remember how I was holding you to check for the greatest common factor? Well, guess what? 3 is not a perfect square. Neither is 12. But you can take a 3 out. You see, there's a 3 sitting inside of this 12, 3 times 4. So you're going to take the 3 out because that's your greatest common factor. When you take the 3 out, you're left with x squared minus 4. And x squared minus 4 is a perfect square, or the difference of two squares. So x plus 2 and x minus 2, but you can't forget that 3, that 3 is part of your answer, okay? So, although it may not look like the difference of two squares, if you factor something out, it works. Now, you might say, well, how did I do that? Well, look, if you take 3x squared minus 12, 3 is a perfect square, and then you have x times x, just like you did on your work yesterday or the day before, 2 times 6 and then 2 times 3. Now you ask yourself, what do they have in common? They have a 3 in common. 
This one has a 3, this one has a 3, so you take out a 3. When you take out the 3, you're left with the x squared, which is what I have here, x squared, and then you're left with 2 times 2, which is 4, and 4 is a perfect square. Okay? Now, I basically showed you everything. Now, sometimes they'll do something like this. They'll say, okay, well, x squared plus 25. Well, we know this is a perfect square. We know this is a perfect square. But it's not a minus sign, it's a plus. So the answer is prime. You can't factor it. You can try all day, but you can't factor it. Now, let me prove to you that this works. Okay, so watch. We're going to do one more. We're going to do 4x squared minus 16. Copy that down. Now, I know this is a perfect square. And I know this is a perfect square. But they have a 4 in common, you see? So you got to take that 4 out. You have to take out what they have in common first, okay? Even though I could do it without that. So I'm left with x squared minus 4. You see that 4? x squared minus 4. I took the 4, this one out. This is a perfect square. So it's x squared minus 2 squared. So the answer is going to be x plus 2 and x minus 2, but don't forget that 4 that you factored out. Now, some kids do it wrong. They do this. Okay, now this is wrong, okay? And sometimes I do it because I'm not thinking. Well, this is a perfect square, so they say 2x. This is a perfect square, so they say 4 times 4. So now they say 2x plus 4 and 2x minus 4. Well, guess what? You can do FOIL, and you can get that but it's not correct because you always have to do the greatest common factor first. I'm telling you, this is how you do it, okay? All right, now let's check it. You were taught something called FOIL, so put FOIL. I'm not going to make you check them, but I'm going to check it and show you, okay? So we're technically done. Put a check by that, but I'm going to check it, so watch. Put the 4 right here. Now watch. How much is x times x? Well, x times x is x squared. How much is x times negative 2? Well, that's a negative 2x. How much is 2x a positive times x, or 2 times x? That's a positive 2x. And then finally, positive times a negative, 2 times 2, that's going to be a negative 4. The middle term cancels. See, FOIL, F-O-I-L. The outer and the inner cancel out, and you're only left with the first and the last. So your final answer, if you had to check it, would be this. And actually, you could distribute that 4 back in. So you're left with 4x squared minus 16, which is what we started with. Okay? But I, I just showed you this just so some of you would understand what I'm doing. But all I want you to do is factor. Okay? So go back to that worksheet from yesterday and work only the section that says the difference of two squares. I'll try to look the video up or the worksheet up tomorrow. I don't want to do it now on my computer because then I'll start talking like uh, it's Halloween. Oh, and by the way, some of you did your homework yesterday. Over the weekend, I asked you to hold your mom's hand for five minutes. Okay. And I told you to look her in her eyes. And some of you did that. Now, I don't know uh, if all of you did what I asked you to do, but it was really important. And I got some really good replies. Okay, would be surprised. Some of the guys had some really nice replies. And I appreciate you spending time with your mom like that. And uh, hopefully it was a good thing for you. All right, anyhow, that's it. Difference of two squares. Have a good day.